today on The Real. Two big guests, one all new The Real. We're kicking off day one of our Jocelyn Hernandez guest co-host week. I'm hot, we all hot. I know I'm hot as hell. Then on Girl Chat, sex dolls with a mind of their own. Oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> Plus we've got basketball wise Evelyn Lozada. This is who I am. And it's the man crushes we've been dying to share. Pam, take a cold shower. Oh, the Real. This week is a mom, a rapper, a TV producer, an actress, and one of the stars of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. Give it up for the self-proclaimed Puerto Rican princess herself, Jocelyn Hernandez! <laughs> Jocelyn, welcome back! Girl, we had so much fun with you the last time you yes. were here. How you been? I've been amazing. And can I just say this, Lonnie? What? I am not self-proclaimed. They claim me the Puerto Rican princess. They Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ladies, you all look beautiful. Bit. Okay, I, we'll, I'm so we'll, excited to be we'll back. Ma- I, really? We, we'll, Yo, we'll, really? Did you miss us at all? Exactly. First of all, first of all this is like the. I did my IG earlier, and I was like, the ladies are like the realest. Like you got to go see it, because it's like when when I'm up here, it's so like organic. We all just having a conversation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Different women from yeah. different parts of life, and it's just fun. Yes. Oh, well, yes. That's awesome. I sometimes wish people could see also how much fun we have behind the scenes. Yes, exactly. We just had so much fun upstairs, right? Yeah, because uh, somebody was being messy. <laughs> Ooh, uh, me? Oh, this whole side of the table. It was me. I was the one. <laughs> I know. Have, I've been in enough trouble for some time, so I know I, this is mess-free week for life. But we gonna have a good time this week. Yes, with we you, are. So are you ready yes. for some girl chat? Yes, I'm gonna be the messy one now. All right. I take those, I take those shoes. Oh, How is baby Bonnie Bella doing? First, first of all, Bonnie Bella is a genius. Yeah. She's amazing. She's beautiful. Oh my gosh! You guys will get to see her tonight at 8 p.m. All right. On VH1. I can't wait. And being able to executive produce my daughter's birth and to have that moment, and, and not only have that moment forever, but to put it together and to, and to show it to everyone and to show ladies that we're strong enough to mm-hmm. bear kids without medicine, without hospitals like I did it. Wow. It was an amazing feeling. Wow. Well, while we're on the subject of family, Jocelyn, you actually posted a photo of you and Bonnie Bella and baby daddy Stevie J hanging out together oh. on Easter. Ooh. And girl! The people on social media were going absolutely nuts. So we have to ask, <laughs> are the rumors true? Yeah, let's are find you what's the tea, tea, tea. Are you and Stevie J back together? <laughs> I thought she was staying out of trouble. Not this this one. One. I gotta find out. Lonnie don't know how to do that. <laughs> are you guys together? Look at y'all. Thirsty. <laughs> <Girl. laughs> the thirst is real. Go on, drink. Well, you know, right now we're co-parenting, and it's okay. amazing that after everything that we've been through awesome. on the show, yeah. and you know, people make, you know, people make mistakes, yeah. you know, especially people so talented like Stevie and I, like, you know, talented people could be very difficult yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. yeah. yeah. And you know, I had to give him a chance and give myself a chance, but most importantly, give my daughter a chance to be able to have the best 
of both worlds, which is my side of the family and her father's side of the family. Mm -hmm. And we're doing a great job. That's why we spend Easter together. And we just had an amazing family day. And you know, with the relationship with us, you would just have to catch that tea somewhere else. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna tell okay. you today now. Well, you gave us we a little bit. We got the whole week. I'm yeah. going to keep asking. Yeah. <laughs> well, I forgot. I know where your dressing room is. We need to put you at the bathroom. Well, speaking of kids, according to Refinery29.com, mom, Ilanya Kohlberg, posted a story on Facebook about an interaction she and her young son, Carson, had with other children in a park. Alanya says that when some boys came up to Carson and asked if they could play with the toys he brought along, he told them no. The boys then went over to Alanya and told her that Carson wouldn't share with them. Alanya told the boys, he doesn't have to share with you. If he wants to, he will. Mm. Parents standing nearby were upset, but Alanya feels children should learn to function like adults. You would never ask an adult to share something that doesn't belong to you. So do you guys think Alanya is right? Do children have to share? I, I'm so confused right now. Am I bugging? Am I the only adult that shares things or asks other people to share with me? Yeah, you share too much, though. So Shut sorry. up. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Yes, true. But I'm saying, like, I've asked to share or borrow something from someone. They say sharing is caring. Yep. And if I'm honest, natural human nature is to not share. It's to say, no, it's mine, and I just want to keep it. Exactly. That is human nature. And I think as a parent... I'm not a parent yet, but I would hope that I would want to impart the best of human nature into my children, yes. or even things that maybe are, don't come natural. And honestly, probably sharing does not come natural I to humans. I think that scenario was all wrong. Because guess what? What? The only thing I saw out of that scenario was that that kid was rude as hell. Yep. He straight up said, nah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, I'm like yeah. where's your manners? Because you know what? It's his th uh, things, toys. He really doesn't have to share with anyone. But... Is there's a better way to go about it. And yeah. I think that we need to go back to that drawing board and talk to that mama. Yeah, because you want to encourage them. I think you can to be polite. To, yeah, you that's encourage how you start them writing. to be nice kids. Yeah. You encourage them. Always share. And then, honestly, God gave us wisdom. As you get older, the child will use wisdom. Do you share everything? No. Then you use that wisdom as you get older. But when you're a child... Don't, don't, do you teach Aiden that, like, I mean, oh, no, I do, I do teach Aiden to share. Um, as a mom... They say that sharing, uh, you know, when you teach your child to, to share, you're teaching them how to have social skills. Yeah. You teach them Absolutely. to take turns, to negotiate. To be generous. To you deal teach with them coping. You not be killers and go and lose their mind. <laughs> to, <laughs> to that no, too. Be yes. good but people. it also teaches them to cope with disappointment because sometimes they don't want to share, but you want them, you know, to give up their toy. But then also, I'm really big with teaching Aiden to share with his peers, with his, you know, uh, friends at school his family members, um, you know, yeah, cousins, with Araya. Um, his siblings. However, I, I'm in a weird stage, you guys. It's, mm. it's, I'm in a stage where I, I'm trying to teach Aiden not to really talk to strangers. Mm. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and it's, it's interesting because when you do go to a park, you don't know you know, who's there all the time. Yeah. So I, I would hate for Aiden to share something with somebody that he doesn't, you know, really know. Right, right. That he doesn't feel comfortable right. with. Yeah. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So Maybe. I can kind of see, I can kind of see what yeah. she's talking about. But at the same time, when you do go to the same park over and over and over again, you, know you see the same kids, you see the same parents, yeah. and in that sense, I definitely would teach you my child. You know what? You those, should share. If I was with those group of parents, you know, like they said, the parents got upset, I would go buy a whole bunch of toys for the kids that do, do want to share yeah. and put them out in that park. And then when her little brat come and try to grab, like, oh, no, 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 no. no we, we don't share. share. Um, we don't sometimes share. Sometimes you have to teach lessons to, that, yes, to the parent. I know, I know. It's not to the baby. Or maybe the parent, parent doesn't like to share. I don't know. Said, that's wrong. Yeah. Here's when it feels like that mom's missing out that scenario. For me, being Asian growing up, Sharing is a sense of our culture. That's when you share, open your house and home to people, you offer people food. When yeah, you're like, like oh, Latinos. you need stuff. Immediately, it makes you sense a family, right? It connects you. So that's something that kid's going to miss out on. Like, what's yours is mine. You're my brother. Like, giving that Honey, up. in the hood, they're going to take that. And no. Tell them. Yeah. No, Forget no. sharing. Yes. Let me get that. That's true. If you don't want to share, it's going to be but taken. Where you that's where you got to teach them. You got to teach It's the difference between somebody asking and then you sharing, but letting them know, but, this is mine. You can touch it. 
but, but it's mine. Yeah. But you know this what is mean? the thing, Dan. If you don't want to share, keep your butt at home. <laughs> keep your kids yeah. at home. Yes, keep your kids at home. Because the park was really yeah. meant for people yes. to be social yeah. and yeah. stuff. Yeah. 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 Take their children yeah. to the park so that their children can be right. sociable. Right. with other yeah. kids. Or play Absolutely. in your backyard and he can have all the toys he wants by yes. himself. I know, That's yes. it, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, who does that kid think that that sandbox he's playing in belongs to? Exactly. You know, that was things that The neighborhood. Okay. He's sharing it right there and then. Somebody's sharing it with him. Yeah. Well, one thing people love to share is on social media, their selfies, especially Yum. this one right here, right? <laughs> Selfie queen. I love Accurate. it. You know, there's a new app called Face App that lets you transfer your face in just one tap so you can see yourself with perfect teeth or you can change your gender or make yourself look younger or older. What? But what people don't like about the app is that it has an option labeled hot which lightens skin tones. Whoa. Now, online critics took issue with the notion that dark skin tones are not, quote, hot. Terrence A.B. Johnson tried Face App, and here's what he tweeted. Hashtag Face App isn't just bad, it's also racist. Filter bleach my skin and make my nose your opinion of European? No thanks. Hashtag uninstalled. Now. Wow. Yeah. yeah. That's he was real on that. Crazy. That's a big difference. Now, Face App founder and CEO has since apologized, saying in part, we are deeply sorry for this unquestionably serious issue. We have renamed the effect to exclude any positive connotation associated with it. Oh. And he says his team is working on the complete fix that should arrive soon. But do you think that this kind of app, you know, people would be interested in having? Absolutely, because why not? Guess what? I don't think there's nothing wrong with it. Because when you go on Instagram, everybody got a filter, and all these girls, when you see them in real person, they don't look like that. So if they make an app to make you look white or make you look yeah. black, Yo, or make that you look changed his oh, race, though. What the hell is wrong with that? It's not about the race. This yeah, but to do with race. Jonathan, no, it no, changed no, no, him no, no, from no. a black man to a white man. Yeah, but Adrian, four years Girl. now, Snapchat has been making everybody's uh, eyes, yeah. including this Asian girl over here, larger. And Come blue on and now, green. I'm not happy well, with no, that. Well, no, I think the issue was that when you when you touched hot, then it it lightened your skin. And I yeah. think that, and then he admitted he said that but was Instagram wrong. But Instagram does the same thing when you do mm -hmm. different but it filter, your color skin changes. Yeah, but it's, it's not labeled be... hot though. You yeah. see what I'm it's saying? It's saying like almost it. like a pretty girl filter. If the right. pretty girl filter suddenly changed it your race, I'm looking like a being black girl hot to a white girl with being so, lighter. But at the end of the day, a lot of lighter people always go and do you know, go tanning under That's the sun. That is yeah. true. So and it, there are apps that make you look bronze. Yeah, make but what's wrong with tanner? that? You know, sometimes I want to be darker and I want to go tan. Sometimes no, I don't want to be darker. wrong with that. I think it's the label of saying, you know, oh, on, you know, dark-skinned people can't be hot. I know I'm hot as hell, all right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm hot, too. And I use a lot of filters. Yeah. So... <laughs> You know, you hot, I'm hot, we all hot. She said, I'm hot, and I use a lot of filters. I absolutely <laughs> I know. But, but I'm Why not gonna lie. What are we using the old people filter for is what I really want to know. Sometimes people want to see what they look like <laughs> when I they were often older. How are you going to use the turn me into a vieja filter? Una vieja. Yeah. Well, Una vieja. I, let me show y'all. I because every once in a while. It is fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah I like it. I thought it was fun. I, well, I it too. it's, it's like. really for fun. It really is a fun, and it was, that's just stupid, and they're correcting it. And this is what you need to do to correct it. Because I think when you see something and it, and it upsets you, tweet about it, write about Absolutely. it so that it can change. And I think that's the purpose of us bringing this up. Yes. Yes. But also... That's why they have reviews on apps. Exactly. But I used it, and um, I want to show y'all what I did. It. I took a picture of my oh, face. Oh, Lord. And this is me oh. as a man. Lonnie. Why Lonnie. do you feel like your name is Colonel what Somebody? To, oh, wait, my God. Lonnie, Lonnie. What happened to your ear? Why your ears got to look ears like... look like You're that? an elf. I you look, look like that. Al Shopton. That's what I look like. Oh look, look, look at that. I, I, that would be, I would be Reverend a younger, Lonnie Love. A younger oh, oh, my God. But you look that, though. I like Why your Why you got your thing. hair split you in the middle like oh. that? <laughs> That's the... Oh what, what's God. the word called? Ranganagish? How do you say it? Where you could be a man and a woman? No. Oh, and draw oh, and and draw and draw yes. Many little girls grow up playing with dolls. But should adults be playing with them? Mm. Real <laughs> Doll, a company that makes <laughs> sex dolls from silicone, is giving their dolls an added feature. Artificial brains. Uh -huh. Oh, damn. <sighs> the idea is to give owners emotional ties to their dolls. 
left. Well, according to Digital Trends, these dolls will be available later this year, and the starting price is around $10,000. That's the starting price. That's really expensive. Okay, do you guys think this doll is good for people who struggle with companionship? You give yep. me 5000 and I'll act like that, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There has to be somebody that hang out with you for less than $10,000. I want to see what you would say, Lonnie. You are the most handsome <laughs> person I have ever seen. Yeah, and I would believe I that before I believe oh, that doll. Oh, 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 oh. I did not believe that doll. That wasn't even believable. Like, oh, her wait. mouth wasn't even moving <laughs> with the words. Can you imagine that with as much, the more money they give you, the better things you say? 5000 you say that, 10000 Oh, my God, it's so big. <laughs> 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 but listen, so I'm actually working on a sex line, and I have the doll, too. You have dolls, too? Yes. But, my, but wait, mine is not that advanced. Mine doesn't talk. <laughs> mine is just my actual body and my actual face and everything that I oh. have. Oh, it's and your body. It's my body, yeah. Of course, it's my body. It's, it's a replica of me. So if you don't have Jocelyn Hernandez, you could buy the doll. But for how Ooh. much? How much? Well, right now, because the new technology did come out, me and my partners has... We have been working on it for yeah. a little while. You know, the thing is, we're trying to figure out how not to make it sound like you say so too expensive. fake. Or too expensive, too, because not, how many guys, people can buy it? I Where's genuinely that have a question, okay? Oh, yeah, uh -oh. it's a genuine question. Uh oh here we go, about America. About guys who have sex with dolls. Hear me out for a second, okay? Because you know how a man feels after they put it down, you know? Like, on a, you know, a you live You tell me how, how Adam feel. No. <laughs> We want to know. But you know that look. Yes. How does a man feel after he puts it down the same on way. a doll? The same. I can answer that girl. question. I can answer the question. But wait, wait, no. I, I, can, I, can, I have another question. Okay. Uh -oh. And then he asks her, how is that, baby? And then he has to press play. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> sure. Wait, it's hold on for a second. Oh, it was great. It was awesome. <laughs> but wait, look, I'm going to answer the question for you. Me being the sex expert that I am. Okay, oh, yes. Oh, oh, do yes. count. Do Absolutely, count. Absolutely, because you know I can take you to church and I can take you to sex. Yes. Okay. Let's just get that very clear. Okay. okay. Talk to me. The thing about men, they want you to shut the hell up while they're having sex with you. Men no. don't want to hear you. And this, it, this is definitely for the guys that wants control. Okay, maybe exactly. that's, that's what it is. That's the thing. This is okay, control. maybe that's what it is. Or and it's still... Just, or Real he's, freaky, and he just want to have sex with somebody. Jocelyn, or he's like, really, really lonely. All right, there's something that should be said that's on your radar if you love the store IKEA and their iconic blue Frakta shopping bags. You know, those big bags that yes. hold everything. Okay, French luxury fashion house Balenciaga recently released their Arena Extra Large Shopping Tote, which some say is almost identical to the IKEA bag, except instead of costing 99 cents, it costs over $2,100. What? And there's even mm -hmm. a gold-stamped logo on the top of the bag. Well, IKEA has clapped back and said that this is how you can tell the difference between Balenciaga bag and their IKEA tote bag. Number one, shake it. If it rustles, it's the real deal. <laughs> Number two, it multifunctions. You can carry hockey gear and bricks in ours. And number three, try throwing it in the dirt. You can rinse our bags off with the garden water hose. <laughs> All right? So, ladies, much like our game Fake It or Take It, do you think you could tell the difference between the two bags? Absolutely. Seriously. Absolutely. You could and totally I'm not tell. even good at Fake It or Take It. Half of the time, you guys, when we play the game, I, I literally so ask our producers, like, what the fake version is, because it's so good that I want to get the fake version and pay half the price, and people might think it's really the real version. But, like, well, I really can't... How I often... can tell, because I have on Balenciaga boots, the shoe of the day, <laughs> so I know that the Balenciaga bag is the one... On the right. On the right. Yeah. Like, yeah. What is it yeah. made? Is, is leather? What well, is he, that? yes, it is leather, but here's the thing. I, if anybody owns those Ikea bags on the right, don't you love throwing in your, like, dirty laundry? You get rid of, like, all your stuff when you're packing? You don't they mind... They carry a lot. Yo, it's so good when you're moving. You don't mind thrashing a bag like that. I can't own a bag like that because, first of all, you couldn't even find your cell phone if you had that bag. The, yeah, it's the, really the big. Expensive the expensive The expensive deep. Balenciaga yeah. bag, you know? So I don't really like the shape. I don't like when bags are too big because then it encourages you to put too much stuff in it. Yep, and, and then, then it weighs heavy. more than your child. Yep, the bigger the bag, the more stuff I, you find I just put can't in it. spend that much money on a bag. I'm sorry. How much I mean, was it again? I just... 2100 2100 so what, what, what would you spend $2,100 on other than a bag? 
Because I know Adrian, she'll, she'll spend 2100 on the bag. What would you I spend will. it on, Loni? Oh, 2100 I would spend it on <sighs> something that would last for me. Like, like a trip. something in my I know. house for or trip. a trip it's or not. something like I that. I take a trip. A trip yeah. is good. I take a trip. You yeah. know, or Jocelyn Doll. I'll get that. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what, just because I love you so much, uh -huh. you get one for free, baby. Y'all heard her. Y'all heard her. I get a free Jocelyn doll. And you know what? Because I love my homegirls up here, all of you are gonna get one for you free. You get a Jocelyn doll and you, you get, get a Jocelyn doll. doll. And you get a Jocelyn doll. You get a Jocelyn doll. You get a Jocelyn doll. Yes! The recent premiere of Basketball Wives broke all kinds of records. Personally, I think it's because of our next guest, who returned after a four-year absence. And today, she's here to tell us about it. Please give it up for the amazing Evelyn Lozada. Okay, you know that we had so much fun when you were here co-hosting. How was it for you? Oh my God, it was like, you guys work really, really hard. I don't think people <laughs> yeah. fully understand like what goes on to do this. Yeah. So kudos to you because I left here, I was like, <laughs> I'm <tired."> <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I understand you got a new member in your family. Please yes. tell us about your puppy. Um, I got a new dog named Winter, and she's about five months old. Look at old. that! <laughs> Wait, That's so fun. Evelyn, cute. I'm low-key angry that you did not bring Winter here. You know what? I was Come gonna on. bring her, but I have to be honest. She's five months, and she's humping everything. Oh, okay. Really? <laughs> I promise. And what I'm kind like, of dog is she? She's a Pomeranian, but I'm like, this is a little early, like, but, you know, we have the same birthday. I had my daughter when I was 17. I was like, maybe we got a little, little something. Fat. <laughs> maybe we got a little something, something. <laughs> But yeah, so she's just humping everything, but she's great. She just, you know, she needs to be trained. <laughs> well, you know what? We loved you on the return of Basketball yes. Wives. I mean, you... We had a sleepover and watched it. What was it like returning to the show after four years? It was, I will say that this is, this was the hardest season for me because I was so removed from all of it. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, you know what? I'm not quitting. Mm -mm. You but should I'm just get like, money. Yeah. That, do what I do. Get yeah, money. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I was <laughs> like, I'm gonna... They would want me to quit, and I'm not gonna quit. That's I said, the easy way. I'm gonna come back, and we're gonna keep That's it together. Right. That's because yeah. we love watching you. Don't quit on the fans. And I just gotta ask. I might be about to get in trouble, but <laughs> I deal with that later. Why did you give her the money? Was it, cause did you give her the money for the media, or was it from the heart? No, I gave, look, B, when I sent the money, it was really just me connecting with this, like the, the, her grandson's picture was all over social media. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't know if you guys seen it, but he was, burned at a daycare. And for me, I, I couldn't help but to connect that with my son. TMZ reached out, I didn't say anything. I didn't comment on Twitter. I didn't comment on Instagram. I just donated the money and mm -hmm. that's all it was for me. So for anybody to think that I'm gonna use this incident to try to get fame, and who are you? It's not like I donated money to Beyonce's child or something, like, nobody really cares. Mm -hmm. But I, the picture speaks for itself. Like, I don't know what human being wouldn't be moved by that photo that was shown. Have you changed because Iyanla Van Zandt came on the show and she said that she felt like you would be changed. Yes. Have you changed? I totally changed. And I think that sometimes people are a little uncomfortable with that because they're like, oh, you're being fake. And I'm like, I'm, this is who I am. Like, you haven't been around me in four years. And you know, or you'll have somebody saying like, oh, she's, she's not changed, she's fake. And it's like, how do you know? You haven't been around me. Mm -hmm. So my family knows that I'm trying to do better. You know, you don't always make the best decisions. I mean, I but if they keep all cussing yeah. you out, what you gonna do? Well, <laughs> I think up to recently, I pretty much kept it together, but that's because a whole other topic was brought up. Uh oh, I, oh, so yeah. we're about to see a fight. Oh. Not necessarily um, a fight. I was really, really angry, and I will say it had something to do with my daughter. Ooh. And I was just like, you know what? All right, you want to play this game? We could play this game. Like, this is, these, like this is my daughter. Don't bring back the old Evelyn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, 
Do you actually watch the show when it airs? Because obviously there's commentary that you haven't heard when people do like their confessionals. What do you think about what they say that you haven't seen? I do watch it, of course. I'm like, well, geez, you <laughs> went hard. But I also know that this was filmed months ago mm -hmm. and it is what it is. Like you, only the strong survive doing this, honey. Like Yo, you can't She be said the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be sensitive. But that's why you, Evelyn, and that's why I'm tossing. <laughs> <laughs> Today, she's showing us how to add some glitz to your next celebration without breaking the bank. It's time to party with the princess. Yeah. Yeah. Jocelyn, you say that, you know, we can all party like a princess. So what's your party philosophy? Okay. It takes really no money to be able to have an amazing party, mm -hmm. okay. Okay? okay? It's all about the energy, yeah. and it's all about the glitz and the glam. Mm -hmm. And of course, we gotta have bubbles, because what's a party without the bubbles? Yeah. Yeah. Let me just show you how to do some decorations and how to have some great energy for this party that okay. you're about to do for your man or your girlfriend. Okay. Okay, Let's, okay? okay? Yeah. especially you <laughs> yeah. with your man, honey. <laughs> so we got the bottle right here, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is the bubbles. We are gonna fix the bubble, the, the bottle up. We're gonna take the tag off. Okay. We're gonna take the tag off because you want it to be smooth. Because you're gonna decorate the bottle of champagne, okay? Nice. So we're gonna go right here to the second bottle. Mm -hmm. This is how you spray it. Okay. This is the goal. You gotta make it metallic after oh, you take. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, after you take the um the label off. The label yeah. off. But do not spray the top or the cork because you know it's then you're gold. not gonna be able to. Yes. Yeah. And then you're not gonna be able to get it away. Right? Yeah. Okay. okay, so we got this ready. Now you're gonna have to oh. take this little spray, this spray right here. No, it's so this, is this one that like it now. So is this adhesive right here? After you, and you, you spray the adhesive Absolutely. after you've sprayed the bottle yep. gold. Oh yeah, and you Correct. can spray the top because you gotta hold that, right? So you can put the stuff on it. Then you sprinkle. Ah, that's why the glitter sticks. That's pretty, this is that's what's pretty. The, glitter. the adhesive, yeah. Earlier today, while you girls was back there again and together, hey! <laughs> Oh, oh, that's cute. That's really pretty. So you do it with the look. different color glitter. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. And okay. this is the end result of just having a beautiful, oh. great energy party with <laughs> less on your pocket. Yes. Okay. Yes. Got it. Got it. Got it. creative with it. Uh, yeah. Well, Absolutely. now that we're warming up, you know, with champagne, what's next? Okay, so we got the champagne, we got the sparkly. Now let's go over here okay. and deal with some balloons. All right, okay. And looks... balloons, we got some balloons. And once again, when you when you was raised in Puerto Rico, in the in the hood, like I was. <laughs> Shut up. The money, the money was limited, okay? Uh -huh. So this is what we're gonna get down and we're gonna get down Ooh. and dirty with a simple, you know, everybody buy bottles of water. Oh, yeah. We're gonna cut the top off the <gasps> bottle of water. Smart. We're gonna make balloons with fun glitter and different things in there. Confetti, it's fun, yeah. confetti, and just pretty colors. Y'all could use the colors. Oh, yeah, so scared. this becomes like the funnel. Oh, oh so this is you do the funnel, you have. Huh? Lonnie, you got to put the graffiti in there first before you start blowing it. Lonnie's not listening. Lonnie, that's not how you do it. Lonnie, Lonnie you have to use to blow the water bottle. What? 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 <laughs> what? Oh, you have God. to use the water bottle as a funnel to put <laughs> I understand that. Yeah. I do. <laughs> Okay, so I now that we have it in here, we have all the confetti inside of the bottle, then we'll have it inside of the Now balloon. that we have everything in here, and Lonnie, so we are sounding like somebody else. Now let's get you to put <laughs> that one, put some air on that balloon with the graffiti and everything I on it. I got this. <laughs> okay. Oh. 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 Okay, because... She look like she about to pop that thing. <laughs> so this is what you have when you party with a Puerto Rican princess. Let me give you the rules. Great energy. Yes. yes. Yep. Great ladies to help yep. you out Damn. to put the party together. And guess what? A great outfit. And let's party. OK. Yes. Yes. Agreed. OK. okay. Look, this is so cute. Look, now, I'm, I'm not going to lie. These look so dope. Do you see how they look, and you guys? Could, you could even do a photo shoot with this. Woo! I mean, you know. Yeah, come that on. is cute. Let's do it, ladies. Photo shoot time. On we're going to pose. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. Here. Get a pen, because we're going to pop them. We oh, are. God. Yeah. Oh, God. Not in my I'm hair. Pen. Hold on. Jenny, you got to get Can a I have a pen, Here. Can yes. I have a pen? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Everybody got a pen? At yes, the count of three, ladies. OK. Three, two, one. 